Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth episode in the series of electronics tutorials. In this tutorial we will look at capacitors. A capacitor is used to store electric charge. Some types of capacitors are polarised so it's important to check this when you're connecting them into a circuit. Think of a capacitor like a battery. It stores electrical charge but the charge will drain quickly. Capacitance is measured in units of farad. Let's build a simple circuit with a resistor and a capacitor and look at the capacitor's behaviour on every circuit's waveform viewer. From the component list we select a capacitor and a resistor. We will connect the two components in series. We then add a power supply and a single pole double throw switch. We now connect the circuit together. One end of the switch is connected to the voltage source and the other to the ground. The other end of the switch connects with the resistor. We now highlight the wire to the left of the resistor and click on the Show Waveform icon. Then we click on the right hand side of the resistor and again click the Show Waveform icon. Notice the wires are now coloured blue and green. We start the simulation and we can see a steady zero volt waveform showing in the area above the workspace. We can now flick the switch between each pole and see the rise in the waveform. We need to slow the speed of the simulation down in order to see the capacitor charge and discharge. Click on the simulation speed icon and adjust the flywheel to 10 milliseconds per second. Now when we flip the switch, the blue waveform shows the voltage switching between 0 and 1 volt. But notice how the green waveform takes more time to reach the full voltage. Let's pause the simulation so we can examine the waveform. When the switch is connected to the 1 volt line, the capacitor charges up. When the switch to the ground line, it discharges. The curve shown from the capacitor charging and discharging is called the exponential curve. And there's a formula we can use to calculate the time it takes for the capacitor to charge. The time it takes the voltage on the capacitor to charge from 0 volts to 100% of the power supply is specified by the formula T equals RC, where R is the value of the resistor in ohms and C is the value of the capacitor in farads, and the result will be in seconds. After 5 T cycles, the capacitor will be charged to 100%. In the simulation, we used a 1 kilo ohm resistor and a 1 microfarad capacitor. We need to convert the values to ohms and farads. So 1 kilo ohm equals 1000 ohms. 1 microfarad equals 0 0.0000001 farads. To calculate the value of T, we multiply 1000 by 0 0.000001, so T equals 0 0.001 or 1 millisecond. So the time taken for the capacitor to reach full charge is 5 times 0 0.001, which equals 0 0.005 or 5 milliseconds. 
It's important to know this calculation so the correct value of capacitor can be selected for your circuit. Let's now look at capacitors in series and parallel circuits and see how we can calculate the total capacitance on the circuit. So we click the new circuit icon and add three capacitors. We will set them one after the other to create the series circuit. We'll set the first capacitor to 5 farads. Capacitor 2 will set to 8 farads. And capacitor 3 will set it to 12 farads. We'll now add a power supply, which will set to 5 volts. And connect all the components together and connect in the ground point. And when we play the simulation, the capacitors charge up. Notice there is also a drop in voltage as it passes over each capacitor. In a capacitor series circuit, we need to calculate what the total capacitance is, what the total charge is, and how to calculate how much the voltage will drop. Let's take a look at the equations for this. To find the total capacitance on this circuit, we need to divide the value of each capacitor by 1. Add them together, then divide the total by 1. So for this circuit, the equation looks like this. 1 divided by 5 farads plus 1 divided by 8 farads plus 1 divided by 12 farads. So the values that we get out from each is 1 divided by 5 equals 0 0.2, 1 divided by 8 equals 0 0.125, 1 divided by 12 equals 0 0.083. So we add these totals together now, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.125 plus 0 0.083 gives us a total of 0 0.408. So 1 divided by 0 0.408 gives us a total capacitance of 2.45 farads. The charge stored on the circuit is measured in coulombs. The symbol for charge is Q. To find the total charge stored on the circuit, we multiply the total capacitance by the voltage. Total capacitance is 2.45 farads. Total voltage is 5 volts. 2.45 multiplied by 5 gives us a total charge of 12.25 coulombs. The voltage across each capacitor is calculated by the total charge divided by the capacitor value. So capacitor 1 is 5 farads. Total charge is 12.25. So 12.25 divided by 5 gives us 2.45 volts. Capacitor 2 is 8 farads. So 12.25 divided by 8 gives us 1.53 volts. Capacitor 3 is 12 farads. 12.25 divided by 12 gives us 1.02 volts. Adding the voltage across each capacitor together gives us the same value as our power supply. 2.45 volts plus 1.53 volts plus 1.02 volts equals 5 volts. 
So now we'll create the parallel circuit. We'll add the three capacitors. And we'll set them in parallel to each other. We will set capacitor 1 to 3 farads. Capacitor 2 to 6 farads. And capacitor 3 to 9 farads. We'll now add a power supply which will set to 9 volts. And connect all the components together and connect the ground point. When we play the simulation, the capacitors charge up. Notice there is no drop in voltage as it passes over each capacitor. In a capacitor parallel circuit, we need to calculate what the total capacitance is, what the total charge is, and how to calculate how much voltage will flow over each capacitor. Let's take a look at the equations for this. To find the total capacitance, we simply add the values of each capacitor together. So 3 farads plus 6 farads plus 9 farads equals 18 farads of total capacitance. To find the total charge stored, we multiply the capacitance total by the voltage total. So 18 farads multiplied by 9 volts equals 162 coulombs of total charge on the circuit. On the parallel circuit, the voltage across each capacitor is equal to the voltage supply. Capacitor 1, 2 and 3 all have 9 volts passing through them. So as we've seen, if we put capacitors in a series circuit, the total capacitance drops and the amount of charge lessens. The voltage also drops as it passes through each capacitor. When the capacitors are in a parallel circuit, the capacitance increases, as does the amount of charge, but the voltage remains the same over each one. In later videos, we'll mix capacitors and resistors in series and parallel and examine the effects this has. In the next video, we'll look at transistors. Thank you for all your support on this video series so far. Please feel free to ask questions and leave comments. All the best.